What's the range? Like a joy land gets made in like what? One to five crores. Is fair range? No. Less, more. more? I more. had more money. Also, thankfully. Because it was dollars. So it's a five to ten crore budget. Close. More. <laughs> <laughs> But we spent the money on the film. We didn't, I didn't take any fee. Sarma didn't take any fee. Apurva didn't take any fee. We made sure that we pay everybody well, all the actors. Um... even if they're new actors even if it's alin or ali and it's their first film it's like no they're giving us their time we pay them well we pay the crew well we uh you know we would not try we were generous in the way we wanted to make the film and we wanted everybody to be comfortable kya keh rahe the aap आप कह रहे थे कि मेहंदी वाला गाना अच्छा लगा मुझे तो बहुत अच्छा लगा था हेलो अस्सलाम वालेकुम हम ऑलरेडी शुरू हो चुके हैं चार साल बाद चार साल पहले मैं और साहिम एक कमरे में बैठे थे मैं आज तक उन्हीं कमरों में बैठा हूं और साहिम पूरी दुनिया घूम चुके हैं साहिम सादिक डायरेक्टर ऑफ डार्लिंग हु हैज नाउ बिकम डायरेक्टर ऑफ ऑस्कर लॉन्ग लिस्टेड मूवी जॉय लैंड शॉर्ट लिस्टेड लाइक टॉप Not top five, top fifteen, top fifteen. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, medium listed. Medium, <laughs> medium listed. No listed. It's medium. fine also <laughs> at this point. Oscar short listed movie, Joyland ke director, Pakistan ko barbad karne ke liye. Maine ek podcast, ek podcast jo dhunti hai se log jo Pakistan barbad karna unko bula bula. Because consistent attacks kare. Maashaallah, maashaallah. Kaise hain aap? Main bilkul theek hoon. Aap kaise hain? Aap kya kare hain? Aajkal screenwriting padha rahe hain. Main aajkal ek choti si workshop padha raha hoon idhari Olomo Polo pe. और मैं अपनी राइटिंग कर रहा हूँ फाइनली आफ्टर ईयर ऑफ नॉट सेकेंड एंड थर्ड बोथ आई एम राइटिंग टुगेदर लाइक आई एम राइटिंग टू मूवीज एट द सेम टाइम एक प्रेशर होता है कि इतनी सक्सेसफुल डेब्यू फिल्म के बाद कि अच्छा मैं सेकेंड कैसे लिखूँगी लिखूँगा क्रिएटिव ब्लॉग होते हैं आप दो सेकेंड थर्ड साथ लिख रहे हैं मैं तो बहुत आई वॉज वेरी अनॉय द लास्ट होल ईयर बिकॉज आई कुन राइट बिकॉज आई वॉज ट्रेवलिंग अलॉट सो फॉर मी दिस इज in like really nice i wish i had written my second film already so that i wouldn't have to wait for now would be at least 3 years after i shot joyland that i would be going to shoot i like even if you're very fast in the making of the second one because it just takes that long to write something and then to put it together so yeah for anybody who's making their first film i would say so how do you have a second one ready how do you decide what film to write like again, let's say joyland uh, was एक सीड होगा आइडिया का फिर वो डार्लिंग बनी फिर वो जॉय लैंड बनी तो इट्स समथिंग दैट यू लिव्ड फॉर फॉर इयर्स सो व्हेन यू सिट डाउन डू यू ऑलरेडी हैव अ कॉलिंग के यार पिछले दो साल से ये चीज़ मुझे काट रही है और इज इट लाइक ओके व्हाट डू आई वांट माय नेक्स्ट मूवी टू बी अबाउट नो आई डोंट थिंक इट्स लाइक वॉट डू आई वॉन्ट माई नेक्स्ट मूवी टू बी अबाउट बिकॉज आई थिंक इट्स जस्ट जनरली यू आर हिट विद अ जर्म विच कम्स फ्रॉम गॉड नोज वेयर you know uh, of a story idea and then you're hit with a germ basically every second day and the thing is you have to wait to see if that germ is going to stick with you uh for one week two weeks a couple of months and then you know okay i clearly have not gotten bored with the story and i'm thinking about it so maybe that's that's a film that i actually want to make um and then you if you really get obs- if i personally get really obsessed with it uh with anything about the story whether it's the characters or the themes or whatever it is uh then i know that okay i'm going to i just have to write it now because uh which is what happened with two of the films that i'm writing now uh one is actually based off of a book the other is an original so it happened with the other one the book i read i loved it it was sent to me and i was like okay yeah i'm happy to adapt it um was so, it sent to you like that okay would you be interested in adapting yeah yeah It's not like a very. It's a new book. It's not like oh, a legend. No, uh, it's a uh, set in Seattle, in U.S. It's uh, by an Indian journalist. Uh, it's a very good book. Um, yeah. So I was like, okay, that's fun. I I don't know when I'll get to make. So a, when you say I have a germ of a story idea, do you have an arc? Like, what do you mean story idea? Story idea to sounds daunting. Like, uh, for for example, with Joyland, it was the the three main characters and the idea that this is a couple and he's gonna start falling in love with with Alina's character Biba. That was enough for me uh, because it was uh, exciting. It was not something that was entirely new. 
necessarily it's a love triangle basically you know so i was like oh i've seen a lot of love triangles i always like you always wonder who's uh, the girl that the guy is going to pick Man, at the end reverse kuch kuch hota hai banani hai yeah absolutely <laughs> i like actually said it in one of the uh, q and a's i was like you they like what what how do you define the structure and i was like it's kuch kuch hota hai if you've seen it like the first <laughs> half of it you know the hot girl in the college uh, and this is the hot girl in the theater anjali so, dwalina <laughs> anjali is rasti you know uh tina the hot girl Achha, in the college is okay. alina and you know like he starts fascinated getting fascinated with her and uh, but the other one is a best friend so i was like you know it's it's not like a new thing actually uh but the uh, the fact that oh it's sort of a tiny template that you can follow that you know works and excites you so hopefully will excite other people to watch the story but within that you can actually color in and talk about a lot of things that you want to talk about uh and that's very important like the germ if it's a great idea but it doesn't necessarily have inbred in it the thematic sort of investigation for me to do then i know that then usually it doesn't even i'm excited about that story but then two days later it's gone because there's no interrogation for me personally as a person you know Uh, so i have to be really interested in whatever the film is trying to talk about and i not interested in a way that oh i have the answers to these things that i have i know what i want to say it's more like oh i want to there's something that i don't understand and hopefully in the making of the film maybe i'll end up understanding uh better yeah As somebody who started film you're also teaching abhi screenwriting workshops how mechanical do you get with it is it more like okay now these characters are coming to me let me hold their hands and just live with them for a bit or is it are you already from the start being like act structure um not at the very very start but pretty soon i i i get into the mechanics of it the mechanics the basic mechanics of it because if it's not fitting into uh, some sort of a structure story wise then i know that there's some work to do and either like the, the big loopholes like three act structure a five act structure how do you I do a three act structure which is usually you know like a, a more classical way of writing a movie and uh, it either comes usually stories most of the stories that you would think of even on an outline level for a film would probably if they eventually have it in them to actually turn into films would come with that structure hidden somewhere within that story right so you just have to excavate it in at some points and then sometimes you're writing something that you don't you have to rearrange a little bit or to have to create a little bit more sort of fake tension sometimes and then see if that's going to work or not but ideally it should be the film that i eventually end up writing always has somewhat of a structure of its own that comes with it uh so i don't have to worry about it too much like the basic structure and if it doesn't then it's usually not something that excites me so then you know where it's headed broadly yes not the not the end end necessarily always which i always struggle with but but i know where it's headed like i know what the what's going to happen in the middle that's going to keep me invested and what that's going to allow me to explore i know this character is going to go through this this character is going to go through something like this and it changes but when you start writing you need to know something and write that draft and then you're like okay two of these things work and two don't and i have to change those or i have to work on those but you have to make some decisions to actually get to you know start putting ink on paper So when you're forming those characters how conscious are you of the, your guard rails is it more like okay i need for my plot i need this character to go to go from a to b mm-hmm. or when you're writing dialogue you're just like dialogues as character forming let me also figure out what this character forms or are you controlling that process well i actually don't r- start writing for a very long time like actual writing of like oh this is page 1 this is the first scene i don't even when i know the first scene i don't write it I sit on it for a very long time I use my phone and I keep making this like for the two one films that I'm writing now there's like I don't know 50 60 pages worth of notes on it with like random dialogues random scenes random moments random shots uh just ideas that I start compiling and I know when I have more than enough where I feel like okay I cannot predict that I'll actually stop in the middle of this writing process of the first draft I'll actually keep going um then I get to it like i need to collect a lot of material to actually start writing so i just keep making notes on a notepad on my diary on a post it like board etc etc so it's all uh, the actual writing doesn't take that long like of a particular singular draft uh, so it's like yeah. you're you're building a nest yes okay, you just, just collecting pick, pick and picking things, things and adding in, yeah taake at the end you're assembling yes so when i'm doing that like almost when i'm assembling also 
uh, some of my like people who are close to me always make fun of me because they're like afraid <laughs> because I start stealing from them. Also, because that's what you're doing, because you're constantly thinking of one idea, and then if somebody, if I'm writing a love story and somebody's talking about their love story or their whatever problems with their boyfriend, girlfriend, I'm like, oh, that's interesting. Tell me more. And like, you know, on one level, I'm of course offering advice as friend, but on the other level, I'm like, yeah, okay, sure. Like that's an insight. That's a line. That's a whatever moment. You know, I try to tell them to tell, like, get them to tell me about their fights with their respective others, etc. Because it's interesting. Uh, and then I hide it, but they know when they see it that, oh, yeah. या ये तो मैं जनरली लाइफ में कोई अगर कोई अच्छी बात करे कुछ मैं लिख लेता हूँ कहीं ना कहीं कि ये कहीं ना कहीं किसी स्टोरी में स्क्रिप्ट में काम आएगा आई मीन दट्स एट सम पॉइंट्स जस्ट अ लाइन एज अ कैरेक्टर या मैं एक सेट पे था उसका जो प्रोडक्शन मैनेजर असेंशली था सो ही वॉज गोइंग फॉर लंच एंड आई वॉज लाइक यू नो किसी और को दे दो सेट नहीं मैं ही आके करूँगा मैं किसी और को डिपेंडेबल नहीं होने देता मैंने वो लिख ली अपने फ़ोन में आई वॉज लाइक दिस इज़ इनफ फॉर मी लाइक जस्ट फ्रॉम दिस फोर वर्ड्स आई नो यू आई कैन फॉर्म एन एंटायर कैरेक्टर मतलब द द चॉइस ऑफ वर्ड इंडिपेंडेबल सलमान खान लाइक ब्रो है सो एंड दीज नोट्स आर हैपनिंग लाइक यूर फ्लाइंग फॉर जॉयल एंड प्रमोशन यू टेक आउट योर फोन और इज इट लाइक अच्छा नहीं मैं बैठा सोच रहा हूँ Yeah, I mean, I used to love flying when we were traveling with Joyland. That was my favorite thing to do. I used to love being in the airplane because a, there are a lot of people in the airplane and airports, and then that that's the only time your phone's not working. You don't have to respond to anyone, or you're not like worried about looking cute and wearing clothes and getting pictures taken or saying the right I'm thing. I'm sure you're, you know? but not as much. Not in an airplane. Is the only place that I'm not worried about it. I'm worried about it right now, actually. Uh, but monitor flip करे. थोड़ा सा इधर कर दे. Camera वो camera बहुत गलत है. But खैर अब बहुत देर हो चुकी है. Camera वाला camera छोड़ के कहाँ ना खा रहा है. There's no hope Sign for me to look pretty today because the camera is not on. Sign the camera. I'm joking. But uh, no, I do like. I do like. Okay, cool. Whatever. That's fine. You should never uh, like people who shoot should never look at themselves. मेरी मेरी podcast direct कर लो तुम तुमने मुझे offer नहीं है अभी तुम अरे यार great job uh, clearly uh, sarcasm is lost on you Zayn. <laughs> जी I'm looking for work. It has to be paid. Because <laughs> I'm writing on my own. Uh, make sure uh, that you specify it's film work. But खैर I'm why I'm actually looking for any kind of work that pays me well. Airplane looking cute. Airplane looking cute. Um, because airplanes have this vibe of just I don't know. You're like not actually in the world, but you have all the resources and information that you've you know been sort of collecting from the world, and that's been always that was a really peaceful time. Because otherwise, I wasn't able to write at all during the last year because it was just so chaotic and it was so surprising in good and bad ways. That you were always distracted or. dealing with whatever consequences like emotional mental consequences of uh, you know just the good and the bad actually that it was overwhelming so it took me a while to get out of it so I actually only started writing a couple of months ago even though i have not had any actual uh, work to do you know but i guess i mean traveling with the film is work so yeah. this idea of writing as discipline ki aap 9 baje uthe hain aur aap screen ke samne baith jaye hain nahi for those that i'm like i envy those who can do it i can't do it If there's a deadline, sometimes I can do it, but then I'm usually sleeping at 9 a.m. and then waking at 12 p.m. and you know doing things like that. If there's a deadline, then anything is possible. Then, uh, but usually before, like a week before the deadline, it's it's very floozy. It's very um, still making notes, like going and writing half a page and then being so proud of yourself that oh look at me, I've written half a page. That uh, and like yeah, I mean you there's a lot of at least for me i think the fallacy that oh you need to be inspired and stuff to to write uh it's true because you need to be inspired to collect all the notes that you need to collect but the actual writing eventually only happens when there's a dunder on your head and you actually have to do it otherwise you know there's some something at stake uh, so deadlines work for me and that's the only way to write for me uh and yeah. for joyland did you have the story before darling or did you get yeah it? yeah i had the whole script written i think we had four drafts of it written before darling yeah it was slightly different it with the making of darling changed informed me a lot because that's the the first time i actually properly went and did some research on the theaters etc i'd been briefly before uh, started talking to stage dancers background dancers etc etc so i like my world i made a like a working relationship with elena 
so then yes that that changed a lot and informed the script a lot and made it a lot better but it was always there uh like the basic story and the basic structure and the basic characters were always there agar hum thoda sa ek segue le uh before coming back to the process the economics of film kya chahiye aapne ek film banayi ab ye festivals pe jaye ye ho wo ho is there a structure in place for that you have like is that managed or does that just happen like make good films and things will happen for you or nahi nahi there like people who know how to play this this system oh certainly the latter i don't think there's any such thing of like make things will happen for you um eventually yes there will be some form of luck of course like with everything else but uh i have a lovely producer i have two lovely producers sarmad here of course in pakistan and apurva in um in LA and uh, so yeah i don't have to worry to i didn't have to worry too much about it in terms of being like okay where are, she knew everything she did her research she knew how to approach and who to approach and what time um and so but there is certainly you know being in the right place at the right time knowing people knowing the kind of funds that are out there that people can apply for like i know a lot of filmmakers in pakistan don't know the there are hundreds of european funds that you can apply for um but for that you need to if you're applying for a french fund you need a french co-producer to apply for on your behalf right so where do you find a french co-producer of course you'll have to go at some point go to some festival schmooze with them a little bit you know have set up a meeting and then hope that they like your project and come on board uh so they like they, there are many sort of red tapey loopholes etc cetera, etc cetera, which have nothing to do with actual art or creativity of filmmaking but you got to do it because you have to make your film इसमें कुछ लोग इसको रिवर्स इंजीनियर करने की कोशिश करते हैं यू मीट फिल्म मेकर्स इन पाकिस्तान और लाइक यू नो राइट नाउ आई फील लाइक पीपल इन फ्रांस आर लुकिंग फॉर अ फिल्म दैट्स ऑन द टॉपिक ऑफ दिस सो आई एम गोना मेक दिस ताकि आई गेट दैट ग्रांट आई आई एम वेरी ग्लैड दैट आई डोंट नो दोज पीपल बट आई हर्ड अलॉट अबाउट दोज पीपल आई गैस येस आई डोंट you know and and i wouldn't say that oh that doesn't work out because there are a lot of bad films that also get made with the same funds etc you know and then go to many festivals also which are which i see and i'm like okay i don't like this movie at all uh and it it feels a little uh pornographic for lack of a better word um but yeah i mean it's a choice you know you you have this medium you can use it in any which way possible so you know if you can make a propaganda film with you know your country's military you can also make something that you actually want to make and then you can make what the best wants to see and then you can cater to it um you know i think because of these right, things wo thodi conspiracy theories ho jati hai na ki oh acha is topic pe film banayi thi isliye isko award mila i mean lot of people said it to to yeah, was, us also yeah yeah, 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 yeah exactly. that oh like you know this is of course uh, but the act, i mean and i find it even stupid to defend it in any which way but i'm like if you saw the film and that's what you thought i am doing then you know that's your experience and that's your opinion and i why should i try to change it in that sense but i i made the film it should have appealed to you on its own not with me coming after you see the film and convincing you that no 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 actually this meant this and i did this for this reason it doesn't matter you didn't like it end of the story and i think hum log because hamare jo beliefs hote hain hum wo project kar dete hain right like You made a film. The film is there. People can go watch, judge. France me kya poster likha hai aur uske poster pe kya likha hai? You're not sitting there writing that, right? There's probably some production company that decided that. The distributors that, in France, yeah. Yeah, isse biki gi ye hoga, ticket hogi. I mean, this is the economics of film around the yeah. world. What do you do, like? What was written on the French poster? No, somebody said catch. I think kuch. Uh, abhi bhi when I put it up. I think I'm assuming somebody was queer because they wrote that because uh-huh. they said as a queer person I felt disappointed that Alina was front and center of the poster of everybody making it seem like the movie is about her but when I saw her she was Well it's her and Ali yes and I had this whole conversation so the, I mean the, the truth is I have with the French distributors and I think the German distributors have because the film is about to release in Germany um in November I think they I'm not sure but I think they use the same poster uh the truth is uh when the poster came I try to reason with them and I was like you know this is not it doesn't look like the movie a also not only because they put alina and ali together and it looks like a romance and there is a part of the film which it is that it is a romance but it's not entirely a romance um and also the fact that you put this lahore ka background behind it with the mosque and i'm like i purposefully didn't shoot a mosque in lahore there's no mosque there's no shot of a mosque or bachai mosque in a film and i was like it was a choice that you know kind of like you taken a picture from i don't know god knows where and put it there it's annoying um and they they had there was a back and forth ultimately it's their call 
and eventually the truth is it did a million dollars in France. So, you know, and it didn't do that money anywhere else. And the, the point that I'm trying to make is that how, and they, that's what they tried to tell me. And they were like, you know, you're not trying to be too much of a purist and stuff, but eventually do you want your pe people to watch a movie or not? And they're not going to come and watch it if they're like, oh, family drama. And I, you know, we have to give it some kind of a positioning. And it's not that, oh, this is a film about a trans girl. It was that it is a film about, which is focused on a love story that's queer, which is partially the truth, not entirely the truth. Um, but it worked. Now, what can I do? Would I rather be people coming and watching my film? And actually, because the film is the film, I'm not changing the film for that. But the marketing of it, it's unsavory to think about it in that way. But that's just how people work. John ne baat ki kya chahiye? You need to work the system. All those things stand true, and you need all of that. You need that support. You need the right producers. But despite that, what would you say to people who are like, "I say Pakistan me to ban nahi sakta. Ye ho hi nahi sakta." Had you heard all of those things and uh, internalized yeah. that, you wouldn't have made the movie that you made. So people who want to make good films but get discouraged by the fact kya chahiye? Maybe movie kabi cinema me lagi ki nahi. Maybe Joyland is a great example that if you just do it. things yeah. will happen and also like it doesn't even need to play in the cinema i was very cocky and very stubborn about the fact that it needs to play in a cinema in a cinema i think i would have probably uh, uh, you know i like the fact that it eventually did release in karachi i really enjoyed that um i think it was important for my self esteem for my self respect just generally for the film and for the people who were involved with the film um but also like you know there are what less than 100 theaters working functional theaters in pakistan it's not a place for great business unless you make a mola jat but like, you know we use that mola jat example and we should but then you need to have the kind of resources that mola jat did also you need to make that exact film you know uh, with all the stars available um, and with all the money available and then uh maybe you'll you'll also make that kind of big blockbuster that makes a lot of money in pakistani theaters but otherwise even the big humayun said films don't make a lot of money you know they they barely recover the uh, a successful film is the one that recovers its money here in pakistan so i'm like you don't be prob probably don't need to sort of fixate so much on the idea of releasing the film in theaters because the truth is kamli released in theaters and zindagi tamasha did not zindagi tamasha has been seen by i don't know 100 times more people than kamli was seen by right and so that's the fact and there are pakistani people diaspora people everywhere in the world um So uh, I guess times are changing faster than we can sort of really wrap our hands around because of course there is still a fascination about having a theatrical release. I did have it and I pushed for it, but uh, yeah, at that point if somebody tried to reason with me, I wouldn't have listened. But hopefully, maybe somebody will listen to me when I say it that there are other ways of releasing your film and making money off of it, making more money off of it actually than you would with a theatrical release necessarily here. You could sell it to platforms, you could sell it to television rights, etc. You will be safe. Um, and you can get to make whatever it is that you want to make it's within the bounds of how censorship works here if of course you make you can't. films for the love of films and you're like duniya meri films dekhe zindagi tamasha is a great example of that but zindagi tamasha you can never make the money of youtube no not even like 5% of the budget of zindagi tamasha to theek hai bahut si baat hai well it did more way 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 more than 5% of because of the fact that people were not just from youtube but the fact that people were paying For because there was a, uh, no not just screenings actually because uh, oh, there was a thing of like, like patroning yeah like there was a, a link to a bank account mm. that uh, kusar films had given below the link and there was like okay if you like the film it's free for you to watch but if you want to give a ticket's price you should give a ticket's price and a lot of people did uh it like it made millions and it was a very cheap film to make uh so in that sense it close to half of its budget it actually event eventually ended up making close to it uh that's a weird example because uh that film had been in the news for a very long time and it was almost like a protest to pay for this film to watch it even though it's available for free online right i don't think if i made a film today and i said it's on youtube can you also please play a ticket i don't think anybody is going to pay a ticket to watch it they're just going to watch it um also it's sarmad khusr so like also it's sarmad khusr there's a young filmmaker who is making his first film thinking it's not going to happen Impossible, you'll right? make very little money and you won't recover your money back uh, zindagi tamasha also didn't recover its money back entirely but it did as well as you could hope for it to do probably even better um but there are avenues i feel like there are a couple of ott platforms that are coming on board z5 is coming you know like still making stuff uh, with uh, pakistani filmmakers etc so 
you know there, there are uh, there also the, the truth is it sound it may sound a little bit harsh but you often think that oh my film is not getting made and because oh because my film is so controversial or you know nobody wants to make a rd film or whatever sometimes it's also because your film is not good you know and you haven't worked hard enough and i have seen a lot of people you know f- frankly speaking who come up with and i'm like do you have a script written they're like no we have like five pages of outline i'm like but you're expecting the world to fall on your feet but you haven't even gone through the effort of locking yourself up in a room for six months coming up with a draft then rewriting in the dream writing it that's what i did you know i didn't expect any and nobody gave us money for seven years until they did uh for all the earlier drafts nobody gave us money so the fact is that you have to uh, take your the struggle in your stride a little bit as well and not uh expect too much sometimes before the time comes right there's a lot more effort that you'll have to put in to be able to actually then wonder why is it not happening uh which i frankly some people i see it happening but a lot of people i don't see that happening also uh in retrospect what was wrong with the earlier drafts there was nothing i think there was something wrong with me not the earlier drafts necessarily they were good enough films um and i guess we had to just get rejected there were there were a lot of things that were wrong that i'm not saying that that there was not like uh, work to be done obviously there was that's why we did it um some of the characters were a little two dimensional some of the di- all of the dialogue like the first draft that i wrote i remember i was telling people in the workshop as well everybody spoke in the same language like in the same tone everybody sounded like and they all spoke like me and that's the note that i got that all your characters speak like you in this snappy smart mouth kind of you know want to be funny way and uh, that's that can only work for one person which is like you know biba but the other people can't be so snappy all the time otherwise there's no distinction in terms of identifying the character through the way that they speak uh so that was one of the things that that changed and took a couple of drafts to change it but it's also the fact that the the zeitgeist in the zeitgeist we had to get rejected from xyz places to be able to get to then a place which was like okay yeah we're interested in that so we had and it wasn't like oh these people the same people who gave us money eventually actually gave us uh, said no to us before they didn't we just had gone through 100 rejections and eventually landed on the one acceptance and these rejections are pre darling post darling and pre and post both so darling ne jo credibility di it around worked. the world did that not it helped with eventually the people that we got the money from like the finance the production houses that we got the money from but it didn't help but, but also it wasn't um, we applied to the world cinema fund we applied to swedish funds to some french funds we didn't get them i applied to sundance many times which is now i joke with them about it because now the film is screened at sundance and i actually when the premiere was happening i went on stage and i was like well my script was rejected three times from their lab <laughs> <laughs> now i'm here <laughs> so you know uh, and it's fine you know they didn't like it then they like it now thank god that they like it now uh i would rather take that than nothing but uh, they they were there were a bunch of rejections yeah so the, f- the the decision to make darling and like as a short film first come after the desire to make a feature film or was the plan always to make a short film first and then a feature film uh no i, I mean i had to make a, sh- a short film because i had to make a thesis because uh, i was ha- doing my masters and i had to finish that masters with a thesis short film so i had to make a film the idea of making a film that was somewhat based in the world of joyline came when i had written the script and i knew and apurva knew that okay we actually want to make this movie uh you know it's not just a script that we've written in class and that we want to you know uh, learn how to write a script with we actually want to make this film and as my first film so then i was like okay then we need some sort of a proof to show people that i know where to put the camera and i can direct actors and i can string the story together visually as well um that's where darling came from i had actually plans of making another thesis film it was a children's film with two children actually but then i abandoned that and i did this instead um yeah and was written america mein no it was written here actually because i had come for 6 months before the shoot when i was going to theaters uh in in the audience and backstage <laughs> both uh, sure sure to, research uh, that was all for research, research for and research. then i and the college mein uh, bahut research kiya alhamdra mein and then i my films never got made they just got leaked but you didn't sure. do it well and long enough uh, yeah. that's not what she said but sure That's what the research was happening. हाँ, मैंने भी जॉयलैंड बनाई थी. I would like to see it. Please send it to me at least. Three GP है वो. Hmm. But yeah. So no, it was written here. 
I had written a treatment in New York, but I came here to write it. You can't write a film like Darling sitting in New York. Yeah. Unless you've actually had the exposure and the experience in that world. It's such a specific world. The lingo is so specific. The way they operate is so specific. The way they're lazy is so specific to them that it's it's just you. You have to actually just be there to uh, again. pick and steal and string a story together how, how important is that because darling we had a very long discussion we had the representation ka. but joyland maybe some people online random comments not thing be specific was like oh they, that he didn't sound lohari that wasn't lohari enough and i'm sure you've read that a bunch as well i'm sure i to me honestly i'm as lohari as it gets uh i don't know if uh, anybody from karachi could do as well of a job as he did so i'll give him credit uh for i when i watch the film it never grates on my and nerves in them like this is wrong yes sometimes it's not like it doesn't come with the kind of punch and flavor that an actual lahori boy walking the street would have in the way he speaks in uh, in punjabi um that fluctuates but it never goes into unbelievable territory i'm always believing him so for me i don't have a problem with it but somebody did i mean like it's fine i did i tried to find a boy in lahore man i didn't was unable to um uh, yeah i no, did, I, i didn't like i, I didn't like the fact kelly jane jo ki acting choice nahi thi to do a thick lahori accent because that would have taken away from the performance yes and he like he we found he found the right balance of still seeming like not a boy from karachi and still a boy from lahore but he didn't try to play it to punjabi you know um where a, it would have been distracting and b also just generally it's not uh, there are a lot of boys who don't also speak like that within lahore i am one of them and i don't come from the same class but even within the same class yes there are um so yeah i i i personally have no problem and it's also that. character specific i yeah. mean alina, and i like you, he barely speaks anyway i mean you can't cast somebody from karachi for alina you just can't it just can't happen no it can't happen no not for the dancers as well fault her punjabi for one, for one second like but there's no fault in her punjabi because it's fucking perfect <laughs> but aap jo ali ka character hai yeah. it's a big tip hai that you Yeah, he barely speaks at all if in Pun- you know and like i think uh, probably like 30 40% of his dialogue is in punjabi 30% maybe sarvat's also from karachi na no? sarvat's from karachi uh, i think that's uh, also she does a fine job she doesn't speak in punjabi She never spoke in the film in Punjabi. That was a choice. I was like, okay, for the girls, it's like either we didn't have enough time to, which Ali did, and Ali gave me enough time to actually sit him through, uh, bring him to Lahore for two months, um, make him sit with Sarmad, etc., etc., to do a dialect coaching sort of uh, process. But with the girls, I didn't have that. Like with the girls, I mean Sarvat and Rasti. They came on board a little bit late. They were shooting other things. There were other problems. So I was like, okay, I'm your. been buried into this family i'm just going to pretend that you know actually don't come from punjabi families uh and nobody's going to ask me that question or whatever but in my head i never bothered them with wanting to learn punjabi it's just that the accent couldn't be so karachi it it had to be lahori uh yeah with rasti to is lahori na no? rasti is lahori but you know in like the lahori is a uh that lahore is a different lahore, lahore and that lahore is lahore a different lahore is not lahore. a person yes lahore, lahore is a vibe and uh, rasti was missing that that vibe a little bit but i think she did a good job but in the film she's not from lahore is she from karachi well she's from like southern Pan- like somewhere in punjab like a small town in punjab like a I don't know. She could be from kamaha also or kasur or jang i never specified which exact town she is from in terms of the work that she did with ali kya tha he comes to lahore dialect coaching over here well, he said he f- went to andrun lahore for a bit he did uh, he did he used to go with uh, our line one of our line producers rashid um it it started way earlier i think that work played a significant role but i think the work that we done when we were both in karachi because i live in karachi and he lives in karachi and so from january when he was cast uh, or beginning of february actually when he was cast till when we actually moved in july to lahore both of us moved sorry um we would meet every weekend and we would just talk and sometimes the conversation and every i was still doing rewriting um of the same script so i was like sometimes i would send it to him he would give me notes etc so he was very suddenly involved in um even to a certain extent just understanding this guy on a writing phase which was great um because then we didn't have to talk too much on set um and we would just talk about honestly where the film comes from for me personally which was important for him to know and also i needed to understand and 
where he's coming from in terms of approaching the character and i have this thing where i really need i think not want to fall in love with the people who are going to act for me like i need to love the actors as people uh otherwise i can't work with them uh because i need to be a little bit fascinated with them i need to have like i like i need to have a little crush on them almost to be like with ali rasti sarwat alina all of them like because and i need them to be my friend and i really need them to like me because otherwise they won't tell me what works for them and what doesn't work for them and where they come from and i wouldn't have anything any tools to use with them you know and uh, in terms of directing them and molding their performance so uh, that really happened i think in the best possible way with ali more than with anybody else because again we just had that kind of time so in terms of directing actors uh, horses of course is different for everybody hmm different i tried to i start with trying to do the same thing that i do with everyone and then i realize that okay for some people it works for some people it doesn't work which is what what is that what is that you do you i mean i try to like uh, instead of telling them what to do i don't i never tell them very rarely if it, it's a mark missed etc then i would tell them and i'm like okay your hair is getting in the way very technical stuff i would tell them okay okay but uh, otherwise i would always approach it ideally in a more emotional way to make them decide what they're going to do but for us to agree on what's the emotional state or what are they trying to get the other actor or other character to do in the scene um so just find different motivations in that sense and try them you know it's it, like i just do many takes um and and some actors get annoyed with that uh i don't understand why but some actors do get annoyed with that thankfully we didn't have any of those actors on set but uh it's just like okay try from this angle try from that angle and then you sometimes don't even direct them you just direct the other actor and you don't tell them anything and you're like you know that the other actor is smart enough to actually just give them something that's going to extract a different performance uh but sometimes all of this like ali's headier way like comparatively headier in that sense you know you need to uh go deeper with him um alina is again you should explain things to her but you should do it right before the take otherwise she's going to forget uh so you like i would like i worked a lot with her but then i realized that okay actually it's literally half an hour before the scene supposed to be shot that i need to actually start working with her um and uh, sarwat again is just like is the funniest thing because uh, i think one of the i don't remember which scene it was exactly but like i think fifth or sixth day of sarwat's shoot uh i tried to come to her and, and i tried to sort of direct her and she was like what do you what do you want me to do just tell me what you want me to do and i'll do it and i realized that she's the kind of actor who can take result direction very well like she just be like okay i want you to get a little bit emotional here and then hide this and show this etc etc she like i'll do it you don't need to explain to me where that's my job as an actor i'll make it work tell me what you want to see and i told her and then she did it and it was perfect so she made that believable even though it's a very unnatural process but she knew how to wing it because she's a she's been doing it for so long yeah and and you think that oh you know you know she comes from a television uh, training etc etc but you know she has the muscle of um, conveying a lot without uh, without uh, sort of you know having to spend so much time on I think jab aap itna time lagaye na tv pe ke maine camera ko dena hai co star bhi nahi hai 6 ek scene maine karna hai jo drama ke pehli episode ka hai dusra scene maine karna hai jo drama ki chhatti episode ka hai teesra scene maine karna hai jo drama ki 13th episode ka hai aur beech mein mera change kar kar ke wo pura arc ek din mein deke jana hai yeah to wo muscle develop ho jata hai and also just i i you know like you um like just the willingness to unlearn some of the things because there there's that muscle that they learn but there's also another muscle that they learn of like this st- couple of stock expressions that you come and you give that oh shock and sad and and you know and they to you need an actor who's un- willing to unlearn some of that uh sarvath had i think already unlearned it because she'd been doing not been doing television for a while um but even somebody like sanya said for example when she came she was like you you just don't be afraid because i was afraid of course it's sanya said and i'm a young kid uh she was like you have to tell me because sometimes i can do you know like you have to just i'm coming from a film set i'm going to a film set after i shoot for 5 days for this film so just call me out and direct me freely and i had the big like the greatest pleasure working with her uh particularly in the big scene with her because uh it was just so much fun like the first take was great but then i was like okay let's have fun you do this and then she did it and it was great third take fourth take fifth take and until everybody was like almost crying on set which never happened like in the in terms of like 
co-actors crying for the other person's performance uh it was beautiful because i was like how wonderful that at 50 after working for i don't know 30 years she's so willing to be directed and to try new things and she's so excited um and humble yeah and how was directing swan pizza salman pizza ji ji salman pizza is the most wonderful man i mean he's he's uh, it it's a, a greater pleasure to spend time with him as a person than it is to direct him because directing him can be a little bit hard you know he's a he's a wonderful actor um but he's um hadn't acted for a very long time and he gets distracted so it was sort of like working with the children sometimes you had to like be like sir what you know look yeah like what you, what would you like to eat okay <laughs> you know and you know he was annoyed with the fact that his whole character was you know the only note that he had when i sent gave him the script and i he said i'll do it but if you t- make him a man who's not in a wheelchair because i'm a very active guy and what is this old person in a wheelchair i don't want to do it i want to be an active person i want to be roaming around the house and stuff i was like no i can't do that uh, but uh, eventually he stood in one scene uh and i couldn't do anything about it but uh, but it's it was lovely because he the moments that he was present he was amazing and then moments where he wasn't present you just everybody had to kind of scramble and like figure out how to bring him back um but uh, but what a great great energy to have on set he would be dancing and playing music on set and distracting everybody but you know with good energy not bad so so, so what do you look for people in casting while you're casting them ye matlab ye to baat ka hai na ki cast ho gaya ab maine dosti karni hai but you can't just like but you can tell ki se meri dosti ho sakti hai ki nahi ho sakti you know what i mean like if a person but i'm like i can't sit and have a conversation with you for 2 hours you cannot be an actor in my movie because i need to be able to talk to you for very very long um and sometimes you just feel like oh they're to a certain extent you can feel that they're a little bit unwilling to open up you know and then you're like okay it's it's doable that's my job i'll open you up you know and but but if you're so unwilling that i'm like okay there's this barrier that will take me a long time to get through then i you know uh i wouldn't do it so i guess this like certain level of likability personally of course just generally an instinct towards like talent that oh you're talented you have it in in you and a willingness to to try something i think just people who are like willing and excited about doing something with the film and with the character you know because if they're not excited no matter how good they are no matter how much you like them it it's not going to work uh because you need them to think about something before they actually before the camera rolls and and if they're not they'll just you can see a little bit of that woodenness and artificiality even in actors who are really good uh that's why all amazing actors have given some terrible performances because they were probably just not interested you know i've been casting for a few films i know you, you call people <laughs> you call oh you, do you know the phadde also i don't know the phadde so, okay as the way you said i was like shit ye bhi pata nahi i got fired from khair main kyu bata raha main kyu bata it's okay seeing you main kyu bata raha hu usko nahi nahi maine apni i khair chhod do somebody said something and i was like you can't say that to me what what did they say no no i'm i'm tired of talking about myself no. i would like to know <laughs> I want gossip Shahzad that's why I'm here Yeah mere zindagi ka ek bahut bada trigger hai uh because I think I pay a huge price to be honest and say things openly right. open. to mujhe agar koi bolta hai ki aap jhoot bol rahe hain to mujhe bahut wo tick off hota hai I think somebody had accused me of lying and being unprofessional Is it the director? Yes. I can't. Um so yeah. then I was like sorry you can't speak to me like this. Bye. <laughs> मैंने पेचेक अपना बर्न कर दिया वो डिस्पाइट डूइंग बोथ मनी आउट ऑफ इट एट लीस्ट नहीं नहीं आई डन बंच ऑफ द प्री वर्क मैंने लोगों से बात भी कर ली बट पेड राइट नो नो आई डिडंट गेट पेड अ सिंगल पेनी व्हाट डू यू मीन इज्जत इज्जत जो है ना पैसे से बढ़कर है साइंस एब्सोल्युटली नॉट ट्रू प्लीज डोंट बिलीव दिस काइंड ऑफ बुलशिट गेट योर मनी एंड देन यू कैन थिंक अबाउट योर रिस्पेक्ट खैर द पॉइंट ऑफ ऑल ऑफ दिस was not to steal the shop spotlight from you which is impossible is ke- you didn't steal the spotlight somebody else <laughs> I'm here for it. <laughs> it's not a Pakistani director, so please don't assume. What? Yeah, it's not a Pakistani director. I do outside projects too, right? You are taking me easy. Le rahe. <laughs> easy, le rahe to. Outside pro- Pakistan, it's outside project. Tha. Okay, I mean, sure. Shoot in Pakistan, but it wasn't Pakistani director. Khair. So you call a lot of these actors, and they're like, "Dates, tell me. Money, tell me. Thank you." Yeah. That's, yeah. And that's mostly probably what everybody faces. so how do you deal with that when you see a person and like you're convinced you're like mujhe pata hai ye kar lega ya ye kar legi they're good and they fit the character because at the end of the day aap 
जितनी एक्टिंग टैलेंट की बात कर लो यू हैव टू टाइप कास्ट आई मीन इफ समी डजन लुक लाइक अलीना यू कॉन्ट कॉन्ट कास्ट अलीना राइट सो सो दो थिंग्स मैटर या एंड जितना हम बोले एक्टिंग टैलेंट एक्टिंग पोटेंशियल है मैंने पिछले एक दो साल में रियलाइज किया नहीं है इतना कास्टिंग नाइट में इफ यू फाइंड समी हु फिट्स यू आर द वन हु लाइक भाई आप कर लें बिकॉज नहीं है ऑल्टरनेटिव वो आई मीन येस यू कैन इट्स इट्स पेनफुल इज वट आई एग्री यू नो वी बिफोर अली केम ऑन बोर्ड एंड आई ओपन बोर्ड बिकॉज अली नोज Uh, there was another guy who I finally, after many, many, many auditions, Shahzad, I found one guy. I can't name him because he's famous. Um, he's not an act, not famous for being an actor. Now maybe he's a little famous for being an actor also. Um, he's in, from the music industry. Cool guy. Uh, gave an audition. Was great. Was great with Alina. They had wonderful chemistry together. Uh, I'll tell you if you can. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you want me to cut it? No, 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 no. Not this part. But you can cut. If I tell you, you will have to cut it. Uh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, very, very unusual choice. But he was just fab. Uh, and the Punjabi, mm. as you would expect, was like I was like you know really getting mind blown. Um, but then and he was very excited about it until he read the full script. He read half of it. When he read the full script, he was like, I can't do this, man. Like you know, I'm. A- <laughs> like this doesn't go with my wife and I was like okay uh and then we struggled for 3 months and there was nobody and i i with him i tried to convince him a little bit but then he actually taught me this lesson it was very amicable uh that if he's not comfortable he actually wanted to do it but he was not comfortable doing it it was a different thing there was a german he was like i i don't know what it's going to lead to you know um i'm not new to controversial <laughs> stuff you know so i i'm not sure if i want to be a part of it and i learned the lesson i was like even if he came on set he would be a nightmare to work with not because he's a nightmare to work with in general but with that film i'll have to make concessions here and there so for 3 months we looked we didn't find anybody but eventually we did finally and there were other actors who were you know semi decent in the middle they were not exciting i'm glad i didn't settle for and i had this very clear that if we didn't find some if you don't find somebody that i will wait i won't make the film i'll wait for the guy because you just imagine somebody who's doing that part not really being a good actor or not really being convincing and i don't think he's convincing because he's a good actor only i think he's convincing because he puts in the effort so this thing that you're saying oh like uh, actors being like time bata de paise bata de rates bata de main aa jaunga i wouldn't work with them but i think the difference here is i wouldn't every other film i've सीन बींग मेड डेट्स पहले आते हैं कि यार शूटिंग शेड्यूल तो ये है या एंड देन यू हैव टू बी लाइक अब हमने कास्ट ढूंढना है लाइक बिकॉज द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग इज द शूटिंग स्केड्यूल या सो द फैक्ट दैट यू हैड द फ्लेक्सीबिलिटी कि जब मिल जाएगी तब बना लूंगा एंड देन यू हैड पीपल हु वर कम्फर्टेबल इनफ सो वी वो वी हैड सेट दैट ओके वी शूटिंग इन सेप्टेम्बर वी डेन हैव एक्जैक्ट डेट्स वी डिड इवेंचुअली स्टार्ट शूटिंग इन सेप्टेम्बर ऑफ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन uh and that was always the thing i mean earlier before that it was like july but then it got pushed and the funny thing is in it that yes it's right that you know you're if you're talking about a mayra or a fawad yeah it's understandable that you there five ad shoots and three films going yes they want to know what the dates are right anybody sir uh, anybody but who's, yeah I'm most just, people who are doing tv they they act like that because of course they've given dates i understand that uh but again we were not casting two months before the film was supposed to be shot we were casting if we were shooting in september we were casting we started casting in september the previous year so we had that leave of saying if you get cast of course even if you like you know very famous person you wouldn't have something booked for september 2021 if you're sitting in november 2020 uh so we had that uh in our favor but um yeah it's a weird thing because honestly dates within the television industry also as you would know perhaps they're very set until the day before the shoot when they're suddenly not set and they're like okay somebody's got an ail some something has happened and then you know schedules keep getting shifted all the time uh i have so many active friends who are like oh tomorrow i'm going to karachi because i have a 10 day spell and then tomorrow the next day like no no i'm not going it's it's cancelled or whatever so you know like it's it's a weird thing that we take that so seriously instead of just being like do i like this character do i like this story do i want to do it i think should be the first thing actors ka fair masla hai ki paise nahi milte i know but apart from that baaki masle production ke hote hain ke हमें ये डेट दी थी हम एक्टर को फोन कर रहे हैं उसने बोला कि आज तो मैं कराची में नहीं इस्लामाबाद सो व्हाई नहीं आज दिस इज प्रीटी कॉमन आई नो आई हैव हर्ड स्टोरीज ऑफ लाइक वो शूट पे नहीं आ रहे हैं दो घंटे हो गए वो लेट है पता चला कि वो टर्की चले गए हैं 
ये नहीं है कि वो घर से नहीं है वो आज नहीं आ सकते हैं या वो उनकी कोई डेथ हो गई है तो वो अपने गाँव च वो टर्की चले गए हैं ये भी सुना मैंने <laughs> कि वो सॉरी वो उनका वो एक अर्जेंटली टर्की उनको जाना पड़ा था लाइक ओके अब अब कल परसों तरसों के अब हफ्ता पूरा शूट नहीं होगा इमरजेंसी में ट्रांसप्लान करना पड़ेगा सो या यू नो बट आई गेस यू नो लाइक द वे दीज एक्टर्स आल्सो गेट ट्रीटेड इन द टेलीविजन वर्ल्ड आई डोंट ब्लेम देम आल्सो आई डोंट लाइक व्हाट लाइक इट्स just the working the hours the mazduri yeah, yeah, of yeah, it yeah. all and just i mean actors to chodo yaar like i mean we're talking about actors the crew the way the crew gets treated is insane uh you shoot for 20 hours you'd go to sleep for 4 hours you'd come back and shoot for another 20 hours uh and is it happens still date isn't that how joyland was shot no didn't you shoot for like 16 hours a day or something we had one day where we had 16 hour day and then the next day was off so we were like okay we can pull a 16 hour day because we have we are giving you a holiday before that and i think before that the day before that was also a holiday so there were three or four days where we went over time but we'd always make sure that then we get people 12 hours to sleep and that was line was shot over what two three months so then was shot over it was a 40 day shoot um it ended on the 19th of november started on the 27th of september so there were breaks in the middle like we had 40 days it's quite tight we shot in like there were 40 shooting days and then uh beach may you know like after every weekend we would have the sundays off also not something that happens uh and then after every 7 8 days we would make sure that we give two days off something of that so so there were a lot of breaks in the middle for people to make sure that they were well rested nobody was like not rested on a set that was a big it's not bad matlab like 40 days mein ek puri feature film shoot kar lena so but that's good. actually um uh, when i go uh, when i'm not in pakistan and i'm abroad and i talk to anybody they're all so jealous because first filmmakers even second filmmakers get 20 25 days to shoot a film see wahan unka ek pura system hai yeah the crews are better they're more organized but things, still things 25 happen days, 25 days like we're in a country where you might and i've gone on a film shoot jo location hai लोकेशन वालों ने डिसाइड किया आज हम बैठे हुए तो कंसिडरिंग पाकिस्तानी स्टैंडर्ड्स वेर एट एम कॉल टाइम मींस वी रोल एट सिक्स बी एम फोर्टी डेज इज ग्रेट it was it was it was a good amount of time we started with 38 days i got two days added during the shoot of the film cuz i was like i need two more days and they were like okay you can have it because the actual per day cost of adding a day um is very little in pakistan also so that's why we can afford to do it where outside pakistan the per day cost of adding one day of shoot is hundreds of thousands of dollars uh because of the la- like the unions and the camera and the etc as it should be uh you know we can afford to add a day because we're paying our crew very not very well even though we were paying them way above the standard but it was still low you know uh what's the range like a joy land gets made in like what 1 to 5 crores is fair range no less more, more? more? i had more money also thankfully because it was dollars so it's a 5 to 10 crore budget close more <laughs> <laughs> but we spent the money on the film we didn't i didn't take any fee sarma didn't take any fee apurva didn't take any fee we made sure that we pay everybody well all the actors um even if they're new actors even if it's alin or ali and it's their first film it was like no they're giving us their time we pay them well we pay the crew well we uh you know we would not try we were generous in the way we wanted to make the film and we wanted everybody to be comfortable um and also big because the post of the film was done abroad so the sound and the color sound design and sound mix and color was done abroad so that's like you know just take 300000 and put it there so the actual money that was spent on the shoot here was 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 yeah somewhere between 5 and 10 but then we had to do because there's not enough facilities here to so do the way you, you were talking about company. directing actors you're shooting multiple takes phir to edit mein nikal rahi hai na movie like you're sitting also, in the editing yeah. deciding yeah okay, okay this then makes more sense in the broader arc this yeah. take or this take it's not simply like game is up acha lag raha hai no you can't make yeah. decisions based on just even you can't make decisions based on just that this is the best take sometimes you have to choose the second or the third best take because emotional art clearly emotionally works. speaking you're like yeah this is nice as a scene but that's we need that person actor to give that beat clearly because otherwise it doesn't work yeah so there's a lot we spent a lot of time on the edit so it's, it's those decisions yeah yeah and then also i had we 
I had my co-editor Jasmine who was in Brazil. It was still COVID time, so we would Zoom together, and the film was edited on Zoom, like screen share. So I would actually edit the film, but she would be like, "No, it doesn't work," because I needed a voice of reason to tell me that all the footage that I think is amazing and I love so much, which one doesn't work and doesn't fit into um, the narrative as well as it should. Yeah. Ah, uh, there's a counterintuitive point. Eh? Well, of course, you should love your film, but I've seen yeah. so many films where the directors love their film so much, where I'm like. ये पंद्रह मिनट का जो सीक्वेंस है ना ये बहुत खूबसूरत है बट मैं क्यों देख रहा हूँ इस आदमी को रिक्शे में पंद्रह मिनट एज मच एज द सिटी लुक्स ब्यूटीफुल I have to kill well, these the babies. idea is not to cut the film short. The idea is to just make it more seamless, to to have a through line that people can follow, and not have scenes that are interesting, hmm. but hmm. they are interesting to serve them to serve something that is not necessarily necessary. And so you do kill your darlings a lot. And one of my favorite tiny tracks in the film got cut, which was the thing that I loved the most on the script that my. Every actor loved the most that one. It had something to do with Mumtaz's character. We had to cut it uh, because it didn't. It worked. She performed it so well, but uh, and there were three scenes, and it was like, is it adding value? It's wonderful, but it's adding more time and maybe less value. Uh, It's okay. Sometimes people have to do that. Yeah, I know another film director who cut the best part out of the movie. Yeah, because they called me and they were like, "Oh, तुमने जो सीन किया था मैं कहाँ?" <laughs> We've had to edit it out. I was like, I. Which film is that? <laughs> We had to name film. I. How I can I name when I'm not even in the film now? They But cut out my that, scene. No? They cut out my scene. No. <laughs> so, जब आप स्क्रिप्ट लिख रहे होते हैं, you think it's a super tight narrative, and then when you're editing, you're just tightening it even more, right? कि ये You're tightening it. You um, sometimes I, even on the set I cut out some scenes, like two or three scenes. I even cut out on the set because I was like, okay, um, you're running out of time. You know, you have to send people back after twelve hours. So you're like, I have two scenes left. I will not shoot this one scene. I did it twice, um, and instead the information or whatever I was doing, accomplishing with that scene, I just have to make sure I somehow accomplish that in another scene. Doesn't uh, the dialogue get affected then? Like exposition that then you had to put. No, but you like find it was not there was never it was never um I was never in that sort of a situation where it was going to be a lot of exposition. Um but I just made some calls to actually tighten the film on the set also. At that moment the intention was to get more time to shoot the scenes that were really important instead of, you know, giving spreading that time and taking 2 hours away from a really important scene and giving it to a scene where I'm like it probably actually might get cut on the edit. Um so I I made those calls on on set as well and then on the edit yeah you try to just see what's going to fit the narrative the best and what uh is going to tell your story the best instead of just pretty images or oh let's stay longer cuz the these are real tears of the actress so let's focus on them like nobody cares Do you write Are you super strict about the shots you've written on the screenplay, or do you go on set and you're like, "Oh, so you can take this, you can do this." Both. Uh, if I've thought about something that is going to shot, get shot like this, I will make sure that we shoot it like this. But if we find other things as well, like there were many times where we were, we had a shot list which was, you know, very proper. But many, many times we would go on set and we'd be like. it's not working what we thought so we would do two three shots and like two three takes of it and be like oh it's not the problem with the blocking or the it's just the shot is a little not working so we need to change the lens or we need to change the angle or um find a different way of shooting it and sometimes we would be on set and we would do that shot and be very really nice but we'd be like oh this is also interesting let's also do this so we in that's why i was like we we had we shot in a comfortable way where we could shoot a lot I mean, it's a short start working. What do you mean? Like feel ni aare. Like I don't like feel it. Feel. I, like it's not the right place. I am not getting enough access to her or him in the way that I thought I would. And 
you know, many, many reasons. You're like, oh, I'm too close to them. I'm too far away from them. Um, I thought I'll use the Zoom here, but it's not working. So, you know, what do we do? And you then you try, sometimes it works, but you have to just do a trial and error. You're like, oh, it's the speed of the Zoom that's not working. It's distracting. So I need to just slow the speed down and make it less distracting, etc. So how much of it? Issues. How much of it is vibes and how much of it is meta? Like maybe in the past, we discussed so much of that movie is shot through like grills, shot through cages. I mean, clearly there's thought put in that somebody's thought about the idea, like a meta idea, hai, ke caged hai, aur uske through shoot kar rahe hai aap. So wo short jo shoot hai, yeah. based on this philosophical idea that they're trying to show you. Yeah. How much of it is that when you're shooting, mein, I want the camera to be the outsider over here looking in and I want now be inside. And how much of it is kya vibe or feel? Kya hai? Uh, a very little meta, I would say. You know, we would have, uh, what we did were we, me and Joe, who's our DOP, we made rules and they were not meta rules. They were rules about, okay, in a scene between Heather and Mumtaz, how are we going to shoot it? Like, what are the rules? Who's going to be on the left? Who's going to be on the right? Because we had so many, it was an ensemble film. So we had to make some rules in order to be able to see when do we ju- jump subjectivities. So it was more experiential in terms of like, okay, we are going to be in Heather's shoes here or we're not going to be in Heather's shoes here. Whose shoes are we going to be in if we're not going to be in Heather's shoes? Um, so in that perspective wise, yes, we made we made those rules. But no, it was never uh, meta. No, I, I don't think so. It was always to do with the fact that Am I getting a vibe of the scene, and does it is does it giving is it giving me a feeling beyond what was written on the page? You know, like if it's written on the page that oh, it's um, it's a nice sweet scene between the two of them. Like I'm like if I'm putting the camera there, like it should add something. It should say something a little bit more. It should enhance that particular moment. Otherwise, there's no point. Like why am I shooting it? There should be more interesting way of shooting it. So uh, there's very little of the film that's shot in a like you know. Close up, close up, close up, close up, cut, 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 cut. That's what I mean. That's what I, I'm, not, I'm not interested in shooting films like that because I think you can always do something with the camera that, I don't know, just the, the, that has a very particular feeling and uh, that you are interested in communicating that you cannot actually describe in words. And that's what's fascinating and nice about movies in eventually that if you could actually say, if I had an essay to write to say, uh, take out all my angst that I did with Joyland, but it's not the same thing because I would always be reducing it towards and never really actually getting to say what I really want to say because vocabulary is limited in that sentence. In that way, is where you put the camera helps you, I think, communicate that in a way that you can never say. In I don't want to talk about what you really want to say, but just technically, do you have thoughts? Catch here, cab, kisi. Ko- and obviously, generally, all of your decisions are thoughts. Hote hain, but in terms of achha, long shots, se POV jana chahiye, not just because it's aesthetically better lagega, ya OTS jana chahiye. Do you have ideas of when? Like, how am I going to edit it? I mean, no, I mean, I'm sure you have your yeah. specific ideas. But in general, for people who are listening, who might be shooting things. No. No, just, I just, really, I do it's, think it's your thing, like feeling. Yeah, because yeah. honestly, like, you know, uh, the thing is, there is a way of sh- writing a film. There's a three act structure. So eventually that's what people know. That's what you rely on, you know. Um, but I think the the what I love about like directing is the fact that it's really your own very personal imprint onto a script like you directing the same script and me direct would make two very different films good bad doesn't matter they'll be very different in terms of the perspective you know you'll just end up making you will be surprised how different it is even though if we're writing the same we're making the film oh, no, the script, I'm like uh, had you cast previous person other than Ali would have been a different film it would have been a different like, film right so actors are different the other things are okay so so director you, obviously Put, I don't think people in Pakistan put like enough stress on the fact that where you put the camera is everything in a scene. You know, it's like, oh, they're talking, okay, he'll come here, so wide shot, two shot, close Standard. up, close up, yeah, or yeah. OT, OT, and that's it. Sometimes, yeah, you do that, you know, but like, it's like, you can't shoot every scene like that. And un- the unfortunate thing about visual language in Pakistan is that everybody's shooting every scene like that. There is no other way of shooting it. They, like, in one episode, perhaps one time, they will probably do like a long take and get a steady cam guy because they can afford him on that one day and then tell him to follow the actor around for no reason also just because they can afford one day of steady cam so like, okay, just follow this character and now we're doing a long take and it's like okay but why you know uh yeah and that's 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 for me i think honestly more than the writing that's the most unfortunate part about i mean they can't do a long shot because sari cast hai bhi na yeah, like <laughs> wide shot karein kaise jab hai nahi puri cast baithi hui wahan par yeah that's so unke 
सो वैन यू से आई वट आई रियली वॉन्ट टू से ये मेरा ज़िंदगी का पेट पीव है जो आपको भी बहुत फेस करना पड़ा बट फिल्म का मैसेज क्या था मैं जैसा मैं जूदा आई डोंक्रिप्शन तो मैं देख रहा हूँ फिल्म लाइक फॉर इंस्टेंस उमर शरीफ का पूरा स्टेज शो होगा कॉमेडी होगा एंड मी हिल गेट ऑन एन ही लाइक औरतों को बुरका पहन <laughs> मैंने कि आपने क्यों प्रिस्क्रिप्शन दे दिया स्टोरी तो आप एक मैसेज मॉरल ऑफ द स्टोरी लेकर घर पहुंच गए एंड मे बी दैट्स हाउ थिंग्स आर टॉट इन पाकिस्तान स्टोरी का मॉरल ये था कि बस आप लिख ही इसलिए रहे हैं फिल्म थिएटर स्टोरीज एक्सप्लोर आइडियाज देर नॉट देर टू पे ये अच्छा है ये बुरा है लाइक दिस पर्सन हेट दिस पर्सन इसने चीट किया तुम भी कर लो सो वेन यू से what i really want to say what did what do you mean by that not what people think films should do you know what i want to explore is probably a better way of saying it you know i want to i want to talk about gender i want to talk about sexuality i wanted to talk about uh, in pakistan's context in a very lahori desi context that's the context that i know um and f- for me there is no there, it's not a problem that has a that has a question with an answer like oh how do you solve patriarchy or to, like, like explain in 500 words you know like these are the steps of raise awareness do, you know knock door to door and tell women to stand up for themselves like you know that that's being done and good for the people who are doing that i'm not a social worker i'll just try to understand what the hell it is you know how do we get here in the first place um and how does it affect different people in different ways and and to a point where you probably cannot come up with easy answers to to questions like uh oh a trans girl is extremely uh, victimized in our in our society yes she is you know but when you look at the context of the film is she she is a very particular kind of girl who has a kind of courage and gusto and motivation in life that mumtaz doesn't you know and you would think you would assume that a cisgendered woman perhaps get has has it better in our society than a trans woman but in this case not really you know and then you start questioning things of being like okay we have a lot of these presupposed ideas about the hierarchies of gender and sexuality in our society that that it's good to question them and to wonder about them and and i for me that that those questions never had an answer and that was what was nice about the film but if you wanted a message the message is yeah if you uh, have the sort of repression that we do like the family in the film does ultimately you'll face the consequences uh, as well so you know it it at some point somebody is going to blow up in your family and it's not going to be pretty and all of you are going to be uh, wondering why you did what you did and you know if you want a message from the film maybe that's the one you know uh, what was your favorite reaction to the film um i i honestly i never thought about people how they will react to the film so anybody reacting and watching the film was always nice because you're making your first film you don't think anybody is going to watch it and then a lot of people watch it so it's nice to see but honestly my favorite reactions were from the cast and the crew of the film because for me it was important that they like it because they had put in so much effort into the film that it was important for me that Ali likes it that Alina likes it that uh, Rasti likes it you know um that my producers like it um so when when we, they saw the film and they were happy with it on I was kind of done I didn't uh, yeah I didn't have much desire in me to seek out more um validation so but so then eventually bec- all the responses became very academic for me to be like okay that's interesting yeah you didn't like it for this reason you liked it for this reason yeah once you made it were you mm-hmm. like ye to oscar ye no. to ye to <laughs> no both oscar hai ye to short list hai <laughs> mara no. la dekhegi bolegi bro <laughs> No I uh, honestly I think I was the only one who knew we were not getting nominated uh I was convinced you were getting nominated mm-hmm. Every, apparently everybody was we were at like a couple of events before the day that it was supposed to get announced and everybody was like already like congratulating us and stuff and like you go for at south PC, asia at pc at pcs were you at pcs we were at pcs uh, yeah PC yeah i say that to us maybe she knew better but pc but, would support a south asian film yeah because uh, Yeah, yeah can't talk was it easy. Mindy? <laughs> Mindy was there too. Mujhe pata hai main isliye bol raha na. I but I knew because I uh, coming back to wanting to look pretty. Uh, we uh, they were asked they asked us to shoot a video all the shortlisted filmmakers to shoot a reaction video in case you get nominated when you're watching the live stream. Uh and it was at 6 a.m. in the, uh, 5:30 a.m. in the morning. uh and i woke up at i think 5:15 and i sat with a mug of tea without looking in the mirror 
without fixing my hair and apurva was sh- i was staying with her and she was recording the reaction video and 5 minutes before i was like we could get nominated and i haven't even fixed my hair or like try to look pretty which means i know deep down they're not getting nominated because i had even one second of hope i would have made sure that i look nice for the reaction video so but apurva was very shocked and then you know i went to sleep 10 minutes later after the the live stream was over i was like what can i do how was the uh, that experience uh, lahori kid like ha huh, priyanka chopra mindy ke naam chal kar rahe sare it was fun it was cute yeah i mean like um it was honestly very nice because of the fact that um when you go when i've been to us previously or been to like you know film circles previously there's always um i wouldn't call it a lobby but you know there's always of course you know the spanish speaking folks there are a bunch of them they're making a lot of stuff the writers directors actors everybody's there um there are a lot of europeans of course a lot of white people a lot of black artists are there they have that unfortunately the brown people or the like south asians never had that uh sort of um collective vibe going anywhere in the world uh barely had it going in india and pakistan to begin with um so it was nice in that sense to be able to be like okay there are that many around and shermin was there and shermin said that oh literally i think 7 or 8 years ago she said there was some kind of we tried to do some um party or something for the uh, like you know the award season with uh, brown people and it was only her and meera nair the two p- people who were there and she's like it's just so nice that like in you know, a decade later there are hundreds of them um and they're visible and they're doing many things and they're in all sorts of uh, all departments of filmmaking and all levels like there's a priyanka chopra then there's a alina also and then you know they're like it's it's interesting to see that okay there's a real imprint um which hopefully hopefully gets bigger did uh, surprise did anyone surprise you okay yaar is the film dekh li um a lot of like indian uh, celebrity dms i think because they i it didn't release in india did, and did it get one screening cuz varun grover it, went yeah, yeah. where i it had screenings at festivals and had some private screenings as well so um but it didn't get released released so just any um like dm from like uh, indian person that you know you're like okay cute fun uh it's surprising because it just comes out of nowhere i grew up watching a movie what do you i do? always say that yeah. i always say that like when uh, shakun batra message i was like i love your movie and he's like no no i love your movie and then it was like very masturbatory but it was cute uh yeah so yeah those reactions same you do realize audience ko us tarah nahi baatein samajh mein aati jis tarah hum kehte hain guys what i mean is that you know because aap meri tareef kar rahe hain aapki tareef kar raha hu dono ek dusre ki peet pe haath pher rahe hain ji 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 let's just run through people's questions peet pe haath peet people have questions pakistan oh, people have so many questions pakistan has much more freedom than when it comes to film making compared to iran then why does iran produces much better films than us what can we learn from them फ्रेंकलीस्ट्रीनिंग she can't touch him it's a rule you just have to follow it a girl has to always have a dupatta just like the way they do in iran in on screen it's a rule you just have to follow it anything outside of the rules um you know is obviously allowed as long as you're following that set rule book so in that sense i don't agree with the fact that you know it's a fake freedom that we have in pakistan in terms of censorship because they can ban anything and iran also and has nothing. iran has a tradition history of filmmaking of filmmaking of the art so they understand the not just the, the the need for it for their own society but they also are smart about the fact they know that that's prob- probably the only thing that they have going as far as pr is concerned every other thing that you know about iran internationally speaking is not nice in in terms of a western perspective but so that's why they proper all the filmmakers who go to like asghar farhadi is the state hero in that sense right uh, because they knew they were smart enough to be like this guy is going there he's going to work for us in terms of softening the image um and so yeah we don't have the kind of smart i think my general masle bhi to hai na hame apni cheeze bhi to buri lagti hai agar aap kahe film industry tradition most log jo kehte pakistan film ye wo hum punjab mein you would hate the past few decades of film tradition aap own to kare 
कि यार अच्छा ये हैं इन लोगों ने जो काम किया है वो जो एक सालों की ट्रेडिशन थी राइट फ्रॉम थिएटर राइट फ्रॉम नोटंकी टू द पंजाबी फिल्म इंडस्ट्री उसको तो आप समझते हैं कि इससे बुरी कोई चीज़ ही नहीं थी एंड इफ एनी थिंग आई थिंक डार्लिंग एंड जॉय लैंड इज़ अ लॉट मोर कनेक्टेड टू दैट वर्ल्ड दैन मे बी वट एवर मूवी यूव सीन विच सीम्स लाइक अ बॉलीवुड मूवी तो आप अपने ट्रेडिशन छोड़ छोड़ कर और उनको बोल कर कि ये हैं वो हैं वो हैं देखना फिल्म इंडस्ट्री नहीं है भाई Yeah, I I I don't think there's anything in our history of film that something to not be. Ha- I mean, like I won't say though you have to be proud of it. Don't be proud of it, even but you don't have to neglect it or kind of be like, oh, we have th- that's a history, that's a part of history that we have to overcome or ignore or um, sort of hide because there's something shameful about it. Every country in the world has had B movies, and we went into that B movie territory with Punjab. So what? Tarantino makes all of his movies based on a lot of his B movie references. All of his movies are inspired by a lot of B movies that he watches. You know, there's a lot to do if you once you accept something as part of your culture. There's a lot that you can do with it. Darling and and Joyland both are completely inspired. I don't know where this film could be set if we didn't have that kind of bad Mujra culture that everybody looks down on. Where I don't know where else I could set a film that would organically help me talk about these things, right? So you can make use of them. Um, How can we further elevate the rich tradition of storytelling in Pakistani spe- cinema, especially in the face of prevailing conservative ideologies? बहुत मुश्किल सवाल है ये हमें क्या पता मुझे नहीं पता है यार मैंने कोशिश की थी आप भी कर लो देखते हैं फिर क्या होता है वन हंड्रेड परसेंट करो आप लोग करो लक्ष अवार्ड्स कैसा रहा <laughs> बहुत अच्छा था कमली वन टू अवार्ड सरमद वन बेस्ट डायरेक्टर सरमद बेस्ट फिल्म फॉर कमली सॉरी थ्री अवार्ड सबा वन ऑल्सो फॉर कमली सो इट वॉज लवली वी वर ऑल देर एंड जॉयलैन डिन विन बन इट्स ओके No, but sir, I said this is for both companies. Yes, I know. So because we had already planned before it was announced, we were so uh, cocky and sure that best director either he will win or I will win because the other directors I never heard of before. Uh, so he is like, if you go, then you will, you know, either of us will go and we'll dedicate it to the other person just for some, I don't again, you know, B movie sort of drama. What's your take on the Pakistani film industry? Huh? <laughs> um, there is no film industry. Yeah, and honestly, if you're talking about Pakistani film industry, I would say I have a great take on it, which is that the Pakistani film industry actually exists in Lahore, um, and not in Karachi. That is the television industry that is also faking itself to be the film industry. All the films that you've seen, or the films that you liked last year, or in the like, that that anybody honestly had anything to say about Mola Jat, Kambli, Zindagi Tamasha, Choy Land. These are four films. They were all made in Lahore. uh because we are not a part of the industry quote and quote so i would say you know if you actually want to make something of value uh commercially or artistically or both uh don't be part of the industry and just do your thing on the side some way or the other because that's where perhaps the only all, all the films that are worth talking about are coming out of the industry not from within the industry uh hai bhi wo i mean the stories that are also connected to your स्टोरी टेलिंग ट्रेडिशन की जो हम बात कर रहे थे ऑल ऑफ दैम ऑल ऑफ दैम ऑल ऑफ दैम जिंदगी तमाशा आई मीन लाइक इज नाथ खान यू नो आई मीन सेट हियर या बट लाइक कमली नरेटिव वाइज यू कैन बी लाइक अच्छा ये जो हिस्टोरिकल पाकिस्तानी फोक टेल्स हुई हैं संस्कृत थिएटर हुआ है सुपर पैरल राइट डार्लिंग जॉय लैंड सेट इन दैट वर्ल्ड मॉर्ट लिटरली ऑब्वियसली तो ये तीन तो मतलब लाइक बिल्कुल ही ट्रेडिशन से आप कड़ी जोड़ सकते हैं ना जिंदगी माशा सेट हियर पर मे बी यू कैन से अच्छा स्टोरी टेलिंग इज स्लाइटली डिफरेंट मोर मॉडर्न आई हेट यूजिंग दैट वर्ड मोर रियलिस्टिक बट द रेस्ट तो आर लाइक ऑल द स्टोरी टेलिंग टेक्निक्स दैट कमली इज यूजिंग आर ट्रेडिशनल पंजाबी स्टोरी टेलिंग ट्रेडिशनल फिल्म स्टोरी टेलिंग ट्रेडिशनल थिएटर स्टोरी टेलिंग दैट हैव एग्जिस्टेड इन दिस रीजन तो एंड ऑल नन ऑफ दीज फिल्म आर ट्राइंग टू बी अ बॉलीवुड फिल्म ऑल्सो इज अनदर थिंग you have to give it to even a film like mala jat for not having songs for not trying to of course they had a romantic track but he did it in his own way the way he wanted to it was anything but a, the way bollywood would have done it uh you know and that's refreshing because the problem also with our industry is that it's not trying to be its own thing it's always trying to be a version of the indian film industry yeah usme uh, even in the 50s and 60s i think in trying to be their own thing at times we did वट वी एंडेड अप डूइंग वज वी हम जाकर कोई इप्सन का प्ले उठा देते और उसको अडेप्ट कर लेते थे कि हम अब हम वी आर आर ओन थिंग सो वी शुड ऑल्सो मे बी ओन 
कि जो बॉलीवुड की हिस्ट्री है स्टोरी टेलिंग की वो भी हमारी हिस्ट्री है सो जस्ट बिकॉज द स्टोरी लुक्स सिमिलर Sometimes we're like it's Bollywood, it's Bollywood. That's not what I mean. Yeah, I know what, what that, I mean. I is, just mean for the audience. Yeah, what I mean is trying to be like okay, um, uh, action films are working. Ah, huh, you know, so now. okay, now we're like India. They're working in India, so okay, we also start making them. Not realizing that you don't have the money or the VFX team that they do. You don't have the kind of stars who are established for twenty, thirty years. Action stars who can pull the people into theaters to watch mediocre, well-produced action films. You don't have it, so you know. Um, yeah. Other than that, तो आप इससे मुझे अगर कोई कहता है आप शाहरुख खान को छाप रहे हो, वहीद मुराद की movies क्या थीं? Similar नहीं थीं, बिल्कुल वही थीं. तो हमारी भी वैसी ही story telling traditions हैं. How does it feel to be recognized at international platforms, regardless of being cancelled within their own country? हम दोनों में इसके से पूछ रहे हैं. Because cancel तो मैं हूँ. I yeah, I I don't know. I never really. Um, Accepted the fact that I was cancelled. I was so deep about it. Mm-hmm. I just cancel, kept, who cancel? I mean, I know they're not cancelled, but you know, like trolled or whatever, like said bad things. What I was like, oh, they're very little people. I'm just, <laughs> I'm a very loved person actually. So in my head, I'm, I'm very, I'm completely loved all across the board. Ah, I mean, like if you're talking about the film not playing and. The place it was made, I'm just sad. But what can I say? Also, the truth is, more people in Lahore have seen Joyland than in Karachi. Illegally. Yeah, but they have. So. It's fine. Lahori's are allowed some illegalities. Uh, when is this next next project, and when can we expect it? I think. क्या है वो तो नहीं बताएगा. But दो second or third films. I bro, I don't think anything next year. I think whatever will happen will like coming out in terms of coming out and releasing, twenty twenty five. Not before that. From where did you find the courage to make a movie like Joyland in Pakistan? I think लोग समझते हैं कि कोई भी अपना art produce करता है तो बस वो जिहाद कर रहा है भाई. You want to make a film? He made a film. It's a story he wanted to tell. I I don't think you were like. Up to me, puri dunya se ladunga hi film banana. No, it takes no courage. If you actually, it takes more courage to actually do something that you don't want to do. This is the film I wanted to make, so it didn't. I don't think it takes any courage to <clears throat> make it at all. To release it, yeah. Then you you need a little bit of courage to defend it and try to push for it. Yeah, you need a little bit of. Um, but to make it, I mean. If you that's what you want to talk about and that's the story that you're interested in telling, what's so bold about doing that? Uh, last film that you watched that you liked? I saw half of Rocky and Rani again with my mom because she was watching it. I had already seen it. I like that movie because it's so brainless and fun. Um, and Ranveer is amazing. Uh, but an actual like film that I can be like re- really liked it. Um, funny Games. By Michael Haneke, it's amazing. It's an amazing movie. It's not a new film. It's from the nineteen late nineteen nineties, but it's amazing. Since the workshops they do, as well, this podcast come homework. They end. Yes. What are the top five films? Any film making students? Oh God! Because up to up to, only film making students are there. Rest everybody has everybody has locked down. Everybody has locked down. So since they have stayed with us for so long. Um, I'll tell you the films that I've seen. Uh, I, I always show in my workshops or whenever I'm teaching is uh, The Godfather, obviously. Um, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. I show Four Months, Three Weeks, Two Days, which is Romanian film. Uh, I show Rain Man, uh, which is a film from my childhood and you know a lot of people's childhoods, but it's nice to break it down. I also show The Lunchbox. Um, Indian. Yeah. uh because it's not, especially when i'm doing it in pakistan that i added the lunchbox when i started showing films there because they want to watch something that's what at least makes, in what there. makes the lunchbox great oh, it it's not about the fact that oh they're great movies uh you could not I like mean, they somebody are. saw they are i think they're great movies of course that's why i chose them but i'm not like there's no pressure of like accepting the fact that or loving them but there the fact that there is a lot to learn from them in terms of structure in terms of just how they do what they do so lunchbox is a great film because all the other films are very plot heavy very um uh, you know the thriller esque in tone or you know there's a there's a clear structure to it the lunchbox is so thin and simple in terms of its story that it's nice to break it down to see how if you're trying to make something that cute and small how do you still structure it when you really have a story that you could tell in two lines then how do you keep an audience engaged for 2 hours how do you split it across those two how hours? do you for that you have to pay me a lot of money and join my workshop also cuz it's so long uh, to explain otherwise i actually would but yeah take science workshops at ulo they're over now at the kabita zindagi mein ha like i'll do one in karachi maybe yeah we'll do one in karachi that's the plan uske around ye bolenge 
टेक साइंस वर्कशॉप यस प्लीज यहाँ भी चुप रहो वो फिर हम पोस्ट में डाल देंगे थैंक यू साइम यू आर वेरी वेलकम फ्रॉम द डार्लिंग पॉडकास्ट to this one now we'll meet 2 years later uh, or 3 years later tumne paul rudd ka hot ones episode dekha hai nahi acha usme when they are like look at us now <laughs> look, look at, at us now look at, look at, look at i us. know isn't it look cute at us we'll grow now. up and then when we're 50 we'll watch these 5 6 podcasts so that you've collected it'll be cute it is interesting i know humne wo ek kamre mein random is tarah podcast ki thi bana gud ka lina ke and then that like In a week, that clip was everywhere. I'm like, "Ye kaise ho raha?" In a week, and then every year, there's a one month where suddenly that clip is. Since then, every year something happens when I'm like, "Oh, that clip has suddenly emerged from somewhere." Uh, Mashin ne kar liya usko. Like always, I see that clip, and it's it's lovely. It's so lovely. Like whenever I see Alina around the world doing great things, just like. I know. Good life. So keep doing all the great work that all you do. do. यही बुलवाना चाह रहा था मैं कितनी देर लगी कितनी मजबूरी यू टू थैंक यू सर टेक केयर एवरीबडी बाय बाय